the proposed slush fund, there was no slush fund, there was a fund between 06 and 09 that was used by the governor, the president pro tem of the Senate, and the Speaker of the House to fund projects. It is no longer in the budget for 10 and 11, so it no longer exists, but it did exist at one time, but it was for all of those, so each branch of government was part of this. So I just wanted to clear that for the record. Thank you. Kathy Brown, please. I would not support any discretionary funds, and I definitely wholeheartedly agree with Richard Abate. It's all our money, the citizens, the taxpayers. It's not Hartford's money to spread around. It's not Hartford's money to do deals in, in back rooms and twisting arms and oh, I'm going to get this project for this town and this project for that town and then what do you got to trade for it? No. It's the hard earned money of the taxpayers who work for a living every day. And whether it's bonded or it's in the budget, it's all our money. We pay way too much on debt service from bonding. We're paying $14 million dollars on interest annually. That's how much we paid in 2009. This needs to stop. We have to make cuts and we have to stop borrowing. We've become college freshmen with a, our first credit card. That's, that's how we're behaving as or we're, we're allowing the uh, legislators to behave with taxpayers money and we have to put a stop to it. 